Kids for Kids the series. Hi, my name is Esther, and I am six years old. I live in Southport in the north west of England by the Irish Sea. Join me and my friends and some of our awesome characters like our superheroes and Mrs. Piggy. We will explore amazing coastal environments and the things that affect them. Discover why coasts are important in episode one. Learn with us how people affect the coast in episode two and what we can do about it in episode three. Episode 1 What is the coast and why is it so important? The coast is a place where water and earth meet. It can be made of rock or gravel or sand or mud. The coast gives us loads of good things like amazing plants and animals, jobs and transport routes, food and lots of fun to play with waves and sandcastles. We love the coast, but how many people live in it? Imagine planet Earth as a glass bottle. 71% of it is covered by water, which is like filling up almost three quarters of the bottle and having all of us living in the rest of it. Half of all the people in the world live by the coast. Some of us live in big cities such as San Francisco, Lisbon, Lagos or Rio de Janeiro. Many people live in large coastal regions like Merseyside. Others live in little towns. So we love the sea, but we have to take care of it too. Often houses and promenades are built right on the coast, which isn't always good for the environment and it can affect the good things we enjoy from it. The coast is also changing because we have more big storms now than in the past and because sea level is rising. This can squeeze coastal communities and increase their risk of erosion and flooding. Many people around the world are worried about this. Scientists say that the seas could rise 2 metres in the next 80 years. That's twice as high as me! Most countries in the world have a coast, which means that this is a concern in Southport and all around our country as well as planet Earth. And that is all from me. Bye!